What does it mean specifically in your home this morning? Well, you're part of one of three groups. Let's run through it. Group one, the roughly three million people who are facing foreclosure this year, 20,000 losing their homes a day. What will this package do for you? Well, it may let you lower your mortgage rate down to 31% of your income and circle the date March 4th because that's when the details are going to be given to you. Now, group two, if you're one of the 10 million people who are nearing trouble, you're underwater, your house isn't worth what your mortgage is, it may allow you to re refinance to a more affordable rate. Again, March 4th is the date you'll hear exactly what. And also, if you're in the 44 million people who've been making your payments each month, the package will open up more loans in the future to stabilize the housing market out there. Joining us now is FDIC chairman, one of the architects of this new plan to rescue homeowners, Sheila Baer. Ms. Baer, we're so glad to have you with us this morning. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. All right. Let's talk about the 3 million people who are going to lose their homes this year if nothing is done, 10 million people underwater. How many of those 13 million Million will have their homes saved by this? Well, I think the, the overall estimate is seven to nine. That's uh, three to four million uh, participating in the, uh, the loan modification program and four to five million uh, participating in the Fannie Freddie refinancing program to lower interest rates. And what about the other three to five million? They just lose their homes, you have to write them off? Well, uh, hopefully not. Uh, I think the estimates that the administration is using is more than six million facing foreclosure in the next few years and hopefully help at least three to four million of those borrowers in distress. Uh, there will still be some borrowers who lose their home to foreclosure. Some of that will be inevitable, but this should have a significant uh, reduction in the foreclosure rate, bringing it more in line to historical levels and uh, decreasing the unnecessary foreclosures, which are putting uh, artificial downward uh, pressure on home prices, which is hurting everybody. Is it, is it fair to everyone? Perhaps not. But I think, frankly, we're beyond that. Uh, these unnecessary foreclosures are hurting everyone. We're in this endless spiral of unnecessary foreclosures leading to further home price declines for everyone, then leading to further foreclosures. Yes. So we have to stop the self-reinforcing cycle but because it's hurting our economy, it's hurting everyone. Let me let a homeowner talk to you. And this is someone okay. who's lost a job, still making their payments on time. And they say, again, it's just rewarding the bad behavior of my neighbors. Let's listen. Right. Okay. I hesitate to say angry, but I'm resentful. We've been planning ahead moving forward and doing the right thing, and we're getting nothing for it. They say there's no such thing as a free lunch, and for us that's true, but other people are eating well. Not an apology, but I don't think we owe them assistance either. The question is, in the long term, is it mm -hmm. good for a government to reward some bad behavior? Well, I do, there are moral hazard issues here. There, there is moral hazard everywhere. Uh, we've been making significant uh, investments in large financial institutions, uh, automakers. Uh, our view has always been that we need to understand that the government needs to step in and address this uh, increasingly dire economic situation. And really, we need to tackle the problem at its roots, where it started, which are these uh, at-risk mortgages. Give us a sense, just for hope here, give us a right, sense of when right. you think housing prices will stabilize. Six months, a year, when? Well, it's difficult to make predictions. I do think if you look at the Case-Shiller uh, index, which is a widely cited index, it's, it's predicting uh, uh, further reductions of 15 percent between now and uh, the end of 2010. I think that this mortgage uh, modification program or refinance program will have a significant impact on getting some of this excess inventory uh, through unnecessary foreclosures out of the housing market. So I'm hoping that those there will be further declines, but I'm hoping and I believe they, they will be tempered uh, by this new program, which again is going to help everyone in that sense. So an actual date from you for your hunch? Just a Well, hunch. I, think, I think you'll start seeing an immediate impact in the increase of meaningful loan modifications in, in March when the program becomes effective. Now, borrowers will need to verify their income. They will need to submit uh, their monthly budget so the, uh, so the servicer can make a decision about whether the, the payment will be sustainable for them and perhaps counseling will be needed for some. So I think it will take time to work through these incomes, verify the income, and get the payment to an affordable level. But I believe you'll start seeing a real impact in March with meaningful long-term sustainable modifications.